Hi, and welcome back to Computer Science for Everyone. In this lecture, we're going to be creating our age program. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new Java project, which I'm going to call age program. And then I'm going to click finish, leaving everything as a default. And here we have it. We go to the source folder and then we create a new Java class. In this class, our program is going to run. Our program is only going to consist of this class. So what we're going to do is we're going to name it same thing as our program. It, the name doesn't really matter for now. And it's going to have a main method because the program is going to start here. In this class, we're going to write the functionality that's going to interact with our user and essentially do everything that our program is going to do. It's not going to call any other classes or anything like that. Because our program is going to run in this class, we want a main method. So here we have it. We have our public class H program and then the static void main method. The first thing we want to do here is, of course, create the Java documentation or the class description. And the date. Today is the 4th of January of 2013. 14. Ah, this is going to be a problem for a while. Okay, so here we have it the main method. The first thing we want to do is we want to ask the user for their age so that we can perform the calculations and then display their um, the number of months, days and minutes they've lived. So very quickly here I'm going to create the steps that our program is going to follow. We're going to ask the user for their age first, then we're going to read in their age with a scanner. We're going to calculate the months, days, and minutes. And finally, we're going to print the details out. So the first thing we do is ask the user for their age, like so. Notice how I'm using print instead of print ln, so that the user can then input their age on the same line. Then we create a new scanner. Like so. We need to import the class, of course. So let's do that. And then we read the age. The age is going to be an integer, which we read with next int. So what this next int method does, it, it waits until the user presses enter after a number. So any number the user inputs after enter your age is going to get read into the age variable. After that, we simply calculate months, days, and minutes. Age times 12 would give us the months, because there's 12 months in a year. Age times 365 would give us the number of days, since there's 365 days in a year. We're not taking into account the years with 366 days, because there's not very many days. Um, and then the minutes is the number of days times 24 times 60. We could use age times 365 times 24 times 60, but since we've calculated that already, we might as well use it. And finally, we print out the details. You are... some months old. Let's test this and see if the months works. Let's not worry about the rest for a second. So we enter our age, we put like uh, 25. We are 300 months old, so 25 times 12 is probably 300. Sounds correct. Can't do maths. Um, so yeah, 250 plus 50 is 300. So that is correct. Excellent. Our computer can multiply two numbers. Brilliant. So let's add more stuff. So you are X months old, X days old, and X minutes old. I think we can remove the olds from here. And press save, play again, 25. 
300 months, 9,125 days, and 13 million. Wow, that's a lot of minutes. Old. But this looks like we are 300 months and 9,000 days old. So we want to make it obvious to the user that any of these is viable. So we use or instead of and. So now I think this will look a bit better. Yeah, 300 months or 9,125 9, days or 13 million minutes old. Okay, that sounds perfect. So this is our program. This is what it's going to do. And we can, for your convenience, do that so that it's easier for you to see. Okay, so this is what that is going to do. Hopefully this was fairly simple, I think. Um, hopefully you didn't have a lot of problems with that. And if you did, go ahead and ask a question in the course. You can do that and I will answer as soon as I can. Um, but if not, let's move on to the next one. So I'll see you there.